I apologize again for the rantiness and randomness and disorganizedness of this tutorial. Um, this is complicated stuff. This is not easy stuff. I do not have it to a point where I can state it simply. So stick with me if you really want to learn this. Um, I'm willing to try to help you in any way, shape, or form I can. But this is tough stuff. <laughs> so I can only help you as much as I really um, can try to help you. So I'm going to show you how to do custom light maps for courts. Um, this is actually through the stadium file, not through the floor file. Um, let's go ahead and open up the Celtic Stadium with the mod tool. The wonderful, wonderful mod tool. And let's go to desktop and stadium. So as I said in a previous tutorial, this is the light map right here. This shows um, the shadows and stuff. You know in um, the daytime Rucker Park court how those tree shadows are on the court? This is what controls it and makes the um, players get a little bit darker. And it's something that I'm using in the Midnight Ballers mod to make the out of bounds very dark compared to the court itself. So what we can do is we can export this um, and we just call it SO5 light map, whatever. <laughs> and as we can see, it kind of exported. And you can try to edit this and import it in, but the mod tool doesn't really work well with this at all. Um, it can cause crashes. It is just a real pain in the ass is the uh, nicest way to put it. If you go export file on this, and we'll do X05 or light map um, export. Go ahead and look at it in hex workshop in your hex editor. Um, you can kind of notice that there's a texture here. And it's all just one texture. And I can tell you for a fact that it starts right here. You can see where it starts here and that is 40,000 hex bytes long as you can see right here in our selection so if I copy this out and paste it you know we could open it in a bitmap viewer but we need the header for it so the way to properly export but not import <laughs> this uh, texture is with the 2k10 jersey editor I told you this is a really screwed up and con you know messed up way to do things um, so you load this up go to textures and you just gotta find it and I think I did a pretty good job getting close. I think that, but I am wrong. Where are you? And you just gotta find where this texture is. Huh. There it is. Ah! See, it's, it's tough to see. So if I go ahead and click here, I can save it to the desktop and we'll call it again SO5 uh, Jersey Editor Export. So we can close Jersey Editor now because we can't get it back in. Now if we look at the um, hex of this, we can see the actual texture showing up. For, so the 3BD right there. Um, if you go right here is the actual beginning of it. All of this is just fluff stuff that we do not need. But right here is the beginning of the file as we can see here from what we exported directly from the file. And if you go down to the end, 40,000. Fantastic, right? So what we can do is actually open this up and I'll, I'll use GIMP. And the first thing you wanna do is make sure you stay in grayscale. You can go to image, mode, and grayscale if you need to, but you know, we'll say. So let's say I want to add a big shadow, a big dark spot in the middle of the court, just to fill the void that um, you know not having Paul Pierce is going to do to the Celtics. So I can just you know just do this, boom. So now in the dead center of the court, there's just going to be a spot where if the players run through that spot, they'll become completely um, shadowed out of the court. We can go ahead and save this, but we don't want to save it as a ping file. We actually want to save it as a bitmap file. export and just double check and make sure we open it up and see it says RGB color we want to transform this into grayscale again and then just hit overwrite so now we can close it all out and we can open this up in your hex editor and again you look and try to find where the original file begins and you know what we can just do it the easier way you can just copy this little section right here. 
go over here and do a search for it. There it is right there. So here's our beginning of the file. Go down 40k <laughs> hex. Copy that. And then you can uh, go to the if file and find the beginning of it. So let's open up the if file. You have to import it through hex. That's the problem with this. Let me close that now. And we need to find this bitmap file in here. There it is. We need to scroll down um, 40k in hex, which is just pretty much a crapshoot. You just kind of got to go down and take keep a look at the selection thing down here until it says uh, 40k. I don't know of a good way to do this in hex workshop, unfortunately. Oh, went past it. And is that it? One zero. So there we go, we have 4DK hex selected. We can go ahead and right click and press delete. And then we can right click again and press paste. And then we pasted in our custom light map. We can go ahead and press save on this. Go back to the mod tool. Open it up, open it up, open it up. Scroll back down. And as you can see, we now have our custom light map into the game. Uh, this is a pain in the ass because whatever format 2K is using for their bitmap files is not supported by Paint, by uh, GIMP, or I don't even think Photoshop properly. So hex e importing it like this is the only way I've gotten this to work. So again, this is a very complicated thing. This wasn't supposed to be easy. I'm sorry. <laughs> if I can think of an easier way to, to do this import export, I'll, I'll try to do it. Um, there's just no good way to pinpoint where this file is in each separate um, uh, stadium file because it changes around. So you have to do that control F search to find the beginning of the texture <laughs> and then go down 40k in hex to select out and delete it and all that fun stuff. But that is how you do it. Um, I did it. That will work in game. And. Um, that's the gist of it. So I apologize for having it be so complicated, but that's just unfortunately the way it is. But I hope this helps um, to those that can understand it. And um, I'll see you guys in the next video.